Hello, this is Caspel, and welcome back to more Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, well, we entered the Shaman Village Cave, which is this place, and this looks familiar, but I can't do anything here. So, I guess we'll be coming back here, but for now, let's go this way. A whirlwind! Oh, there's stairs there. I guess that explains the step at the top. I mean, I thought that was like part of a doorway or something. Seems it was not. But, whoops. In the meantime, I still need to fight more of these annoying guys. Haha, -ha, deadly poison! It doesn't actually matter. Uh, it would have mattered on the other guy. Oh wow, would you look at that. Still didn't actually make a difference. Let's do it like that, I think? Hmm. Well, it worked out. Ooh, I see. Hmm. This right here might be the way out, actually. Anything- Ooh, it's a Ginny! Which I cannot seem to reach. Not from here, anyway. There's a doorway here as well, though. Ooh. There's totally stuff in this cave. Hmm. Why are there stairs there, though? I mean, I'm gonna need to come back here for the Ginny. I assume. I mean, there's the lift thing, so... I... I'm pretty sure I need to be able to lift to... Oh! Well, that was actually really short. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be spending more time in there later on. Anyway, we have come to the Shaman Village. Ooh! Uh, oh. Really? Well, try to say nothing to this! Hmm, outsiders. I don't like the look of them. I'm just gonna have to wait until they leave. Foreigners. I'm not gonna waste my time even talking to them. Wow, what assholes. Reveal! Nope. Reveal! Nope. I mean, I can presumably at least go into the inn. Can I, can I jump down the chimney? What if I use Dao's? Nope. I cannot jump down the chimney. How do I get down there, though, I wonder? Hmm. I mean, I can go inside the inn. Okay, well, he doesn't want to talk to me. The card reads, put 80 coins on the counter and you can... Wow! What an asshole! But I still want to stay at the inn. At least here, it kind of actually makes sense that they're charging extra. It doesn't make so much sense that there's an inn here in the first place. But it makes sense they're charging extra, because they obviously don't really want outsiders. Four to the... Uh... Okay... Really... Neat. Okay, well, what's downstairs? Reveal! Oh, there is a thing! It's an elixir. Well, that's a little... underwhelming. I get- well, I mean, not really. It is sufficiently whelming. Not really overwhelming, but not really underwhelming either. It just is. I guess you could say. Uh, right. Overgrow. Or just regular grow. Grow. What's up here? Fix my Ginny. Reveal! Oh, it's a box! What's in the box? No, box. It's, a. Uh, what the hell is that? J just a sec. Okay, we're out of there. Races PP. And it has really high defense. For everyone but Felix, who has a really good shield, I guess. Mmm... You have the water... You both have the same thing. But you have more valuable PP because of Aura. So we're gonna give it to Jenna. Hmm. 
Although I suppose I could have given it to Piers, and then I could have traded the gold am amulet onto someone else. Hmm. Well, this way is fine too. I kind of wish I could visit the. I kind of wish I could visit the shop though. Of course, you don't say anything. We can trust no one but our people of Contigo. Really? Oh, I can't go into here. It's locked. Nothing down there by the looks of it. Uh, this is the sanctuary. So this guy at least has to talk to us. And... I wonder if I can get into there. Oh! OMG, he's actually talking. This isn't my house. If you're looking for Mo Moapa, here I am. Back up. Give me some room! I take wide steps. Who have we here? Strangers in Shaman Village. What is your purpose in coming here? I mean, I wouldn't really call us intruders. More visitors. Friendly visitors. Who are definitely not going to end the world. Okay, that's a little bit rude. Um, right, so... This place is called Shaman Village. We have something called the Shaman's Rod, which we've been lugging with us literally since the beginning of the previous game. So, you know, let's use it. Yep. We thought it lost forever! It once belonged to the great Ho- Hoam- No. It was a gift to his great friend in Contigo. Yeg- Yeg- Really? Are you just making these up? To care for the sacred treasure of Contigo. The Hover Jade. When the Shaman's Rod returns to us, we are charged to give it the bear, the Hover Jade. Uh, yes. That is exactly why we're here. Fork it over. You want the one in the end. Presumably. That's a shame. We'll never give the Hover J to you! What? What an asshole! What indeed? Hoan... Hoab... Nah. Seriously, that, that's impossible to pronounce. Handed the Hover J down from generation to generation for our care. We are the... We are to return it to the descendants of Yegalos. And you are clearly not from Contigo. That's preposterous! We returned your rod! We've come so far already! What indeed? Is there? Is it really impossible? No, it's not a bad idea. Let's do it! Trial Road, you say? Yeah, I'm sure. Vanishing Sand? Yes, if you outsiders intend to claim the Hover Jade, you must fetch it and bring it here! If you people have the courage, follow me! I feel like he should have a deeper voice, actually, but... Uh... Hmm. I mean, basically, do you remember Colosso from Golden Sun 1? It's pretty much the same idea. I mean, there's a few things that are different, but same basic concept. Of course. Okay. Uh... No big deal. Also, let's put move back on. Whirlwind! Did she just make a wind pun? 
Oh, she did. There was a box up there. No! Beer beat. Okay, so I checked, and we're seeing this again. So sorry or not sorry, because this actually looks pretty cool, and we cannot actually reach that at from here at this time. So I can only c conclude that we'll have to come at it from the other side. It does sort of make me wonder why there's the pathway up there in the first place, though. Wait a second. Wait, no, there's a what? Just a girl? Wow. This guy's such an asshole. I mean, really, he's such an asshole! What is... Not only that, he's a sexist asshole, too. Yep. Actually just sexist. Wow. Just... Just wow. Having said that, if we can just finish this up quickly... Yeah, that's actually a good point. As long as we finish, we will prove we're a hero, regardless of race, adept type, nationality, or sex. You sexist bastards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, calling some more than others, but it is fair to say that we're all, all a bunch of stubborn, well, we're all very stubborn. Yep, sounds fun. Okay, I'll meet you there. I'm actually going to reset again because I think I might have missed something. So I'll see you in a couple seconds. Aha! Turns out I'm actually he Oh. Son of a... Right, well, I'll meet you... I'll meet you on the other end of this, because I'm not going to make you watch it again. So, see you in a minute. And... we're back. Okay, so is there actually anything up here? Okay, I can only conclude that it is possible to... that eventually the sand will refill this area, and then I'll be able to walk across to the box. Oh wait, no, there's another pathway up right there. Never mind! Okay, listening! Oh? If you say so. Hmm. Sure. Oh yeah, no, this part is actually important. Okay, two things. First of all, I, as far as I know, the paths are actually different from one another. Having said that, the way this works is, if we reach the end Felix just talked! What the hell? I mean, I guess he's not mute, but... Wow. Right, so as I was saying, the way this works is, if we're the first person here, we need to deposit only one item in the box. But if we're the second person, we need to deposit two items. We'll get our items back at the end. But in the meantime, we need to get there quickly, otherwise we lose more equipment on the way. Oh, there's a reset button. <laughs> I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. Seems straightforward. We'll go this way. Although, I should have gone back there to get the box first. 
Oh well, too late now. Wow, look at that. This is an area. Uh, sand. Okay, I I want the box. It's a potion! That's actually probably worthwhile. Mmm... I want to say going up to Sandfall would probably be quicker. But... I'm iffy about what might be in that... Underneath there, so... I think it's better to go this way. And we're still way ahead. Okay, so... You know that dog bone? Oh no, it needs to, it needs to actually be equipment. Okay. Just a sec. Give this to... Whoever there. Okay, so I have a bunch of useless rings. No, I want to... Uh... Okay, I can't use that for some reason. Because it's a use item, apparently. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, let's... No, can't be boots either. And it actually can't be a ring. Okay, so it has to actually be worthwhile equipment. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, well, I don't really need water resistance. And I do get... We do get the stuff back at the end. So, it's not like the end of the world by dropping stuff. Okay. Okay. Can I... No. No, I cannot. Wait, no, I'm doing this stupid. No! Why is that bound there? There we go. Unlike Colossa, we don't lose time while we're using Synergy. So, this is not as bad. If I do something like that... Uh, oh, no, I... I done goofed. Well, I can still get the box, and I'm still way ahead. But I should not have pushed that log the way I did just there. And I got a vial, cool. Now I need to go all the way around, because I screwed up here. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But not the end of the world. I can just do that. And I'm done. Onward and upward. Okay. This time, let's drop off, uh... How about... Can't do the boots. Raises evasion and critical hits. Critical hits are awesome. Raises PP? Sure. That'll do. Next. Okay, well. Whirlwind. Push this up here like so. And the same thing here. I feel like this is less cheaty than Colossal, though, in fairness. We were in... It was intended that we would have to use, pretty much have to use Synergy for this. Whereas in Colosso, it was we basically cheated using Synergy. Both with ourselves and with our party members in the audience. So not quite the same. And we're already done that. We're a whole part ahead of them. Okay, let's see. Um, that's PP Recovery, this is PP Up, okay, that's 40 Defense, this is also, it doesn't really matter, this one, and we're in the last area, ooh, geysers, sounds like fun, although, looks like there's an eat, I should not have pushed this like this. Uh, I want to use... Scoop! A bunch, actually. 
Well... Yeah, actually, that'll just get me straight out of here. There we go. Just like that. And we got another potion! Four hour shortcut. Yeah, and I didn't even play this very well, but I'm still way ahead of them. Honestly, I, th I mean, Colossal isn't really very hard either. But honestly, I think Colossal is probably harder to stay ahead than this. Okay, we can't use that yet. Nope. Which is just fine, we're coming here. You were quite swift! You may prove a challenge yet! However, just because you're fast doesn't mean you're strong! Challenge or no, I will win! Let us battle! So yeah, Moapa and his dudes. Fortunately, they're humans, so... They're actually not very strong against synergy of any kind. Um... Oh, you know what? I have not used the, my new summon yet. This seems like a great opportunity to do so. We'll do that, and... Bolster my defense, and... Increase attack power, maybe? No, I like agility better. And... In... Three, lower def maybe... Hmm... Let's boost my elemental power. Nope, didn't stun him. Well, it was worth a shot. Crystal powder? Hmm. Bramble seed. And another bramble seed. Ooh, wow. Jen actually took a lot of damage. Okay, uh, how much do I need for Eclipse? Two water and three wind. So, using another wind, let's go, let's try to poison you. And I want to heal everyone, but, well, no, I can just use Jenna to heal everyone. You can you no, no, I, Zagan, Zagan will work. You will use Healing Aura, and you need to use another Ginny. So... How about we reduce your resistance? Oh wow, Jenna does not have high enough HP right now. Zargon! The... I'm going with Minotaur. Oh, that's lower defense too, awesome. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. Just don't do that to Jenna, please. Thank you. She's she's kind of hurting a bit. Uh, let's see. I need one more wind, Jenny. So let's use. Let's restore Jenna's HP. You can use Odyssey on one of the side guys. You are gonna use Aura again. And you're actually going to use Shade. Because defense is good. This is a pretty defensive turn, actually. Except for this part. This is the cool part. Ha ha ha! Okay. So, you're doing this, this garbage again. That's a little bit annoying. But you know it's fine because I'm gonna use an OP summon against you. I mean it's not that OP, but it's really cool. So it's fine. Okay. Un unleash the power of Eclipse! Also. Um Yeah, no, you're good. Just use Odyssey some more. You Um if I have something I can do to increase my elemental power with Shiba, now would be the time. Nope, doesn't really look like it. So I'm gonna use Healing Aura some more. You, on the other hand, are going to use Fog 
maybe? Or, look, what can I combo on the cheap with water? I can do Moloch. But that uses wind synergy, so it's not a deal. Metaro would be nice. Okay, so slash that. You can use Kindle again, maybe. <laughs> sure, why not? It'll make it'll make Felix hit harder. And you're already at two, so you will use Ply on Jenna. Still really cool. <laughs> oh, yes. I have been. Oh, that drops attack power. I did not know that. But man, have I been waiting for the opportunity to use that. To use that. Summon. Eclipse is the first really cool summon you get. At least the first seems Judgment. And Boreas. The giant snow making machine is still pretty cool. Uh, anyway. I'm not gonna do that twice, so let's break out some Shine Plasma. And of course, more Odyssey. Um, you can. Wait. What? Why can I not use... Oh. Whoops. Okay, well in that case... Let's, um... Let's boost my defense. So I can use Metara. Again. Or not Metara, Zagan again. Okay, well... Hmm. Whatever. Don't worry about it. We have better things to do than worrying about it. Things like, uh, actually healing aura would be prudent. And you don't have any good synergy <laughs> at all. But this is not a particularly hard fight, so... So I'm not too worried. In fact, I expect some of these guys to start getting KO'd pretty quickly here. Wait, did Pierce just go before Felix? Did that just happen? No, it didn't. I'm imagining things. I must have, I guess I used a Ginny with Felix. That would explain it. Mm. Okay, I still want to use up that water Ginny. <laughs> Maybe I will summon Moloch. Just just to get it away out of here. Okay, well, Num you and Odyssey and Zagan and of course you are the one that's used up still. Oi. I guess we'll use Chill. Or maybe I'll heal someone. Nah, I should be... Well, let's try to blind you, actually. And we're back. That's a interesting interruption to have. Um, okay then. Uh, okay, I'm doing significantly... Oh, I paralyzed him! Awesome! But I'm, I seem to be dealing significantly more damage with Odyssey now. So, that's good. Um, you know, this actually might be more effective with uh, with Shiba than it was with Piers. So, let's do it like this. You're gonna use Odyssey some more, you're gonna use Healing Aura, you are going to do basically nothing. Um, Diamond Dust, I guess. <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm completely topped off. Cool. Still haven't killed them yet, though. I mean, I think I got the difficulty level of this fight about right, but they have significantly more HP than I thought. Hmm. 
Then again, that didn't actually deal that much damage, which would indicate they don't have that much HP. I don't know, it's hard to say. At this point, I feel like I'd probably just wail on them with my att regular attacks, but that would be unwise. <laughs> uh, Felix is just burning through his PP really quickly, though. Mm. Cycle Beam! Diamond Dust! Oh, okay, that's one down. So, two to go. And they should take significantly less time than that guy did. Okay, let's do... Yeah, let's do this again. Let's do this over here this time. Let's, uh... I could debilitate them. Nah, let's just use Flare... Wait, Flare Storm? No, Cycle Beam. It's way cooler than Flare Storm. And you are going to... I could use Glacier, actually. Sure, let's do that. Why not? Oh, okay. And they're all dead. Woohoo! Look at that experience, though. That's a lot. Rex. All right, all right. I give up. You've proven your strength. You are heroes indeed. As we promised, you will receive the Hover Jade, and we will take the Shaman's Rod. Finally, I can get rid of that piece of shit. After many years, the vow that the that was made has been fulfilled. Yeah, I'll bet. Yep, just lying there passed out. Okay, um, let's just double check. First of all, let's equip this, actually. And we have that back, and we have that back. Okay, we have our stuff back. I knew, I knew we would ha get it back, but I wanted to double check anyway. Okay, on that note, I'm going to stop up here. So join me next time when we do more stuff and things. Until then, well... Have a great day. Bye. Oh, no, that's mine, Reed. Damn it. Bye. <laughs>